Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming. Today again with another Hearts of Iron 4 video where we play Kaiserreich mod with Switzerland. We're gonna try it again. We're gonna try to do a pair drop on the UK again. So we're gonna pause here for a second. And we're gonna tell you guys to go from here. And I want to try to take Hull. Right? Because it's a level 5 airway, uh, naval base. There's Liverpool is very close. Here is London very close. Uh, let's try to take Anglia. So you're gonna go here. And you, my friends, are gonna go drop next to it here. So they are both ready to go. We have more than 60% air superiority. If you look at the air superiority map. Yeah, nice. 82%. And in the channel, it's actually a 99.5%. We're doing a rather okay ish here. So we're gonna hit play, and that should manage us to see landing over here. So you guys will attack immediately over here. Hopefully, that will be enough. And they got killed. Unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it all to hell! What the heck? Uh, we will take this province over here though with the yellow army. Well, two divisions actually are here. The rest got wiped. Which means we are going to try to build a harbor over here. Move it all the way to the top. tell you guys actually to hold that province over here and see what that brings us maybe we will be able to build a harbor probably not nah it's already under attack and we are losing that attack organization wise yeah there they go there they gone so we can delete that actually I'm gonna build a harbor for the enemy but we managed to take some territory for a short period of time. Very, very short, unfortunately. <laughs> Marines. Uh -huh. Marines 3 have been researched. So we have a good amount of... Mar we could get a good amount of Marines going here. Uh, we don't want to research anything in here, or here, or here, or here. I mean, we should probably research all that stuff down here at some point. We might get some uh, harbors and get ready to build some naval invasions and stuff like that. For now, though, it doesn't look that way. Production-wise, we're still building bunkers. Um, still upgrading fighter to the Fighters 3, which should at some point increase the range. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there are some Fighters 3 in here, meaning we reach all the way to nearly all the way to Dublin. The unfortunate thing is we cannot upgrade the range of our transport planes, <clears throat> which is really, really sucky. It would be nice if that was a possibility to do. We could also start to produce nukes. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Slowly but surely, and we will start to bomb all the crap out of the harbors over here. <clears throat> Maybe that's the way we have to go to actually get the territory we want to. Of course, that means I probably should stop the production of the military factories so we can build some nuclear reactors at some point. Because I think... Are we... Are we attack Italy? We should have enough modern tanks, right? Yes, we do. We could actually start and train at least one modern tank division. Which then be added to this front over Excellent. Which will be then added to this front over here. <coughs> My troops are better at night fighting now. Which is also very helpful. <coughs> this one is just guerrilla tactics. Our partisans will do better then. <coughs> that way. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> like a frog in my throat. Um, that means I should probably start 
researching the strategic, strategic bombers. However, close air support could be a thing as well. Let's go close air support first. Close air support level 3. We can also start a line of those guys. And have them doing naval bombardment in the in the channel and clo and what's it called uh, close air support over southern England maybe they will it will help to somebody to do a landing somewhere at some point hopefully and the red region over here still gets bombed some from time to time yeah over here south south Germany is just screwed Send my planes over there to help. 200 fighters doing that in this area. Should be kind of helpful. So they should stop bombing their stuff. So I wasted another 20 divisions of paratroopers. <coughs> Yay! Crap. <laughs> I'm still researching, working towards jet planes right now. I mean, with the air experience, could we do anything else with our air experience? We can't upgrade any of the bomb of the transport planes. Those are already Mark VI, <laughs> maximum upgraded, right? Just to check again. Yeah, maximum, up maximum upgraded. So that means we actually don't need to see you, you, you. Decommission, decommission, decommission. Just need to see <clears throat> the Mark VI fighter there. So, what else could we do? When the close air support comes in, that will be very helpful. But of course, that takes a little while to research as well. I mean, the research for the modern tank is coming along slowly, but surely. We already have 250 again, so we're gonna make two of those divisions. Which will be helpful over here, kinda ish, a little bit. I'm not comfortable, conf comfortable, but I'll be able to break through here. Not at all. Not at all comfortable. Three divisions are on this front. Four divisions are on this front. Hmm. So Italy is. I think Italy is just a stupid idea to attack. They're up to about 920 divisions, so around 870 or so. And England is also around 500. Holy crap. Holy crapperoni. I mean, the uh, Central Powers or Middle Europa is doing decent over here in Saudi Arabia and in Iran, Iraq. I'm not quite sure which one it is. If I could find back that Badr Abbas. There's Tehran, so this shit is supposed to be Iran, and oh, there is a, a Iraq, so I don't know how far down it goes. Not too good in geographics that way. Uh, I think Beirut would be, no, not Beirut. I don't remember. Basra? Shouldn't be, shouldn't that be... What was the city-state for the first, where the first Gulf War happened? Gulf War. I don't remember. That down here is not really working greatly. Well, they stopped the advance here and pushing back one or two provinces. But on the other hand, they're just stay, stay static over here. <coughs> they're still trying to do stuff over here. I mean, I mean, the the, uh, the U.S. is bombing the crap, the nuking the crap out of England some from time to time. Union of Britain, 24 or less, yeah. It's just not really working out the way it should. I wish my transport plane, we could upgrade the transport plane for greater range. So I would try to do something in the north. I think this is not so ha so hardly defended. For example, like this one over here, just four divisions. Would be beautiful to land there. <coughs> but I'm not able to reach that. So even if I put... One transport plane in... No, not all of them. One transport plane in here, just to check the range. I can't reach Dublin. If I could reach Dublin, I would try to land in Dublin. Or 
the Ireland, the southern tip of Ireland. If we could reach it, it would be beautiful. But we can't, so we shan't. Actually, uh, we can trash you again. You don't need to be. You don't need to be there. <clears throat> if there would be an airport, at this airport, we probably would be able to. Well, no, nah, it's actually farther south. If Brest, if they would build an airport in Brest, which they can't, it's actually. Yeah, it will be this airport anyways, because it's the province. The same goes for this one. They can't put it further north. We're just reaching barely over here. It's like a little bit of wider circle and we would be able to reach it. If there would be an airport over here, it doesn't help me because I can't ship my trips over there. <coughs> I forgot about that again. Damn it. What else could we do? Norway doesn't help me. Especially because they are not part of the alliance. Or part of the central powers. This war over here seems to be going great. Uh, if, if I could, I would send my troops down there immediately. Same over here. I mean, we could kind of justify against the Ukraine. If we could... Like, we definitely want the harbors. 20 days. 40 days. I probably should do that. I probably should do that. I get all my armies up there. Well, first of all just be one army again give you a front line over here all four of you stationed there that's perfect and then when my tanks are ready to go there we will do that actually rush you out and tell you to train again for a little while train again for a little while well actually if I give you an order to do that no divisions assigned. Still, get over here. Get over here. And then I tell you... To do a push down here. To those two harbors. Details. Research jet engine. Jet engines. My planes are doing great work over here. <laughs> I'm just shooting down British planes for <clears throat> no reason whatsoever. I mean, the range has increased immensely with my Mark III fighters. Oh yes, it has. We cover all of the all of England, <clears throat> but yeah, still. Yeah, English Channel, English Channel. Transport flights, southern England, it's all green, all green. No more red reaches, 100%. Meaning our air superiority should be, like, great. That's, like, nearly 100%, right? 99.5% over the channel. We're doing great over the channel, that wise. In that opinion. My opinion? In that... Yeah, in that opinion, actually. Do we have... We could justify against Austria, which would hurt. And you have, yeah. I mean, white, Rithu white Lithuania, Lithuania should actually help me in this white over here. You're doing okay-ish. You still have your orders to go to the border when you are ready. You do. So we actually stop our training. We are gonna justify a war goal here. <clears throat> we, we at least get a harbor. We can start producing some convoy ships and stuff. So this one and this one, I just want the two harbors. Maybe this one as well. Yeah, well, that takes 60 days then. Well, who cares? Odessa. Uh, Crimea, right? Krim. Yep, yeah, I'm good with that. Justifying. I'm justifying, I'm justifying. Trying to take everybody into this war then afterwards. I mean, for the moment, we are not doing too well. Actually, I will shorten the front a bit. Don't try to attack across the river. Do something like that. That should be much more efficient. 
White White Lithuania Ruthenia. Ruthenia. White Ruthenia will be able to deal with the rest. You like me a fair bit, so you shouldn't war against me. Should be all good. Research wise is coming along nicely. 127 days till we have to jet engine. And then we need a couple more days to research the first actual jet fighter. Actually, hang on. How far ahead of time would that be? 45. It's not even ahead of time. It would be good to get that done. <coughs> which gives me also a couple more military factories over here, which will help to build up more materials and stuff. That should be all good. On the other news... Yeah, we are losing infantry equipment. Why? Nobody is training. Nobody is fighting. They're just... Uh, just because of attrition over here? I should have attrition over here. All 22 divisions are ordered to do that. Plan is good. We'll be ready to go on... Whenever. 9th of April. So, about a month. About a month to go. That's actually good. That's perfect. That's all good. I mean, the Italian war down here is... Yeah. No troops on my borders. Some 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 Austrian troops are guarding my borders. Over here, for some reason. I uh, know I have military access to their territory and they have military access to my territory. Nope. Still, why are you here? Austro-Hungarian Empire. Why do you have the opportunity to be in my province even though I don't have gave you permission to... I actually, I think I gave them permission to walk through. No, that's a non-aggression pact. Military access to Italy. I don't know. Justifying 9th of April. It's March now. So, yeah. My troops should be strong enough to deal with that. <laughs> but it's red right now. Why is it red? Superior enemy? Really? Really? Oh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll tell you to go super aggro mode for a moment. Just to see. Where is my modern tank? Over here. Probably takes the harbor or the airport over here. We can get a couple of planes in here. Um, fighters mark once, like 200. Okay. Uh, you do air superiority missions. As soon as we declare war. Which is soon. Very soon. Very, very soon. I'm trying to pull in uh, at least... I'll call in all the allies from right away. Hopefully they will join. The war will be merged. <coughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. I don't know. What London, uh, England can't really do anything. I mean... The Third International. It's just those guys, those guys, which not joined the war. Those guys, which is a separate war as well. And that's it. And they can't get their troops anywhere. Because otherwise they get crushed. Trondheim is German Empire? Really? Why? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting, actually. Why is that? Oh, who cares? Um, so, yeah, let's see if we can strengthen our troops a little bit with that stuff. Okie dokie. And we gotta declare the war, and we call in the allies, and send. Okay, called a couple of people in. A couple of people joined. That's this war, right? Yep, it is this war. Nobody has joined on their side, though. I'm losing a few troops, but not a lot. 
I'm gonna go push back over there, but it's not my territory, so it's not a big deal if I lose push from time to time. Germans need to get in position first. <clears throat> You're part of this war, cool. Like I said, it doesn't really matter if I lose territory up here, as long as I don't lose too many troops. Yeah, yeah, sure. Maybe they'll try to send some reinforcements over here, the Brits, but... I don't really see that happening, because it's a separate war still. Defenses are green, attacks are not green, however. <coughs> Where the hell are you driving to? All the way down here? Yeah, sure. Chile has capitulated. To whom? To Peru, to Argentina, or Union of La Plata, actually. Okie dokie. How many divisions does the US have? 580. Send more of those divisions into the European theater. Or uh, African theater. Help to clear up the African problems over here. Well, actually, the Germans are doing great over here. Barely holding down here, but doing super great up here. Okie dokie, pushing through the south and everything. But I tell you what guys, that's going to be the end for this episode. I hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, hit the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Links to that will be in the video description. And like always, one more time, thank you very much for watching. And I really hope to see you in my next episode. Bye bye.